There are so many cases you can use AI functionalities in your Flutterflow application. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you real quick how you can implement the new Gemini AI actions that Flutterflow just released with your Flutterflow app. Now, this is going to give you capabilities including from using text prompt to image prompts and you can create amazing functionalities within your app. Now, before we get started, let me show you what we are going to build by the end of this video. And remember, there are a couple of buttons down there below. Be sure to make use of them. Let's get into it. Present an output and the same for image evaluation. It takes in either an image URL, ideally, or the base64 of an image, and then you can do some magic with it too. So for text generation, let's just ask like how old it is Google. Let's keep it simple and magic. Click on magic and that is going to run and it says 25 years old. Let's come to image evaluation and I have this image URL, this B64 and I'm going to go click on check, it populates the image here for me to preview and the prompts running behind is I'm asking it to describe this image or what can it say about this image. So click on magic and Gemini AI should be able to tell us something about this particular image that it is saying. It says the image shows a happy family of four, the parents are smiling and the children look happy as well. They are well. Yeah, that's the idea about that there. If you head over to ai.google.dev, you are going to see uh, this interface. And uh, Flutterflow has this implementation made natively for you to use in your Flutterflow application. So uh, Google here has a lot of documentation about how to use the model and how you can integrate into your application. So you can be sure to check it out. Now let's head over to our Flutterflow dashboard and get um, implementing. So for this, I already have this interface made where we have a uh, text gen and image eva that's how i call it this is just um, a simple like tab bar that you can navigate between two tabs so for the text gen let me just walk you through what you are going to do we have this prompt here where you input your prompt and after you input your prompt you click on magic and it's going to like give a response from gemini ai and we have this image eval where you are going to um, input a, an image url that you can check if the image is existing or not and then it's going to display the image here and when you click on magic it's also going to like give you feedback from gemini ai about the the image so to get started with gemini ai on flutterflow on your flutterflow dashboard you need to come here to settings and you scroll right down there is a gemini down here so currently we have it uh, disabled you need to toggle it on and then get your gemini api key so there's a little helper here that says go to ai.dev slash tutorial slash setup to see how you can create a new Gemini AI key. So this is our Gemini AI Studio or whatever they call it. And uh, what I'm going to do here real quick is we have up here get API key. So I'm just going to click on that to create a new key. Create API key. This is going to require you to select a project. Here you are going to see a list of projects that you have. So we have this Flutterflow updates projects that uh, we are working with. I'm going to click that. But if you don't have any project, you can just generate API key with a new um, Google Cloud project. So I'm going to say create API key in an existing project. And after a couple of seconds, I should have my API key that I can use. So I'm just going to copy that real quick. Head over here to Flutterflow and paste the key here. Hopefully there's a way that I can delete this later. Because after the video, I may have to... Okay, yeah. So we have this key and that is all the configuration that we need to use the Gemini AI. Now, according to Flutterflow, the way this thing works is... You have the power to um, use the Gemini actions to generate text. And also, you can accept text prompts or image prompts. And then count the number of tokens that your API has remaining. So this is a native functionality that you can have embedded in your app that you, you are developing. So let's head over to our interface and see how we can get this rolling. So first off, on text gen, what I want is, I need a user to input a prompt here. Like probably ask the question or anything. You input the prompt. And when you click on magic, you should have a text response, like the response should come back here. So by the way, this text response is an app state that I created here. It's a page state that I created here. So we have text response, we have image response. Therefore, response that comes back after our image prompt has been sent. Or response that comes back after our text prompt has been sent. They also have image path. This is just um, the image path. I'm setting this from uh, this uh, page state. So we have an image by default. And the image path has a default image, which is uh, this URL. 
yeah it's just a flutter flow logo that is showing here so for text gen since the same button is the same because if you look at our widget tree we have this column that has a tab bar and this single button so the button is the same but we have two different um tab bars that i want to make use of right so i need to set a conditioner first off on this button that is going to work based on which tab that we are so i'm going to click here on this magic the button first off and i say here on action tab i'll open that and add a conditional action so my conditional action should say if the widget state like our tab bar the current index is zero is equal to zero means if it's the first one right then when they click generate the action on text evaluation should happen because this first one said text generation the second one is image evaluation so if this tab bar is currently at index zero then we want the action on text evaluation to happen that's what we're going to tie down here uh, let's add another condition again say if widget state tab bar current index is equal to one it means if it's the next one because tab bar starts from in this uh, the index zero if it is one then we now need to tie our action to do the image evaluation so for my normal text evaluation for this text generation i want to receive the prompt and then call the gemini ai right so i'm going to come here back on this button and open and i'll say there's an action called gemini so that is now available so you scroll down here i think it's integration then have uh, gemini so gemini what generate text what to generate text based on what the text prompt should simply be what the user inputs right so i'm going to come here to widget states and we say um, prompt one prompt which is what the user is going to input and the response should be uh, gemini and text response now what you have to note here is flutterflow has just encaps encapsulated the response that is coming out from gemini ai and it's displaying just it's giving us back just the text response so no other thing we don't need to use json part or anything to index to locate something like we do in normal um, open ai api so what I, i'm going to do next is i'm going to update this page state uh, sorry this uh, page state that says text response here i'm going to update it to have that new response that we got from the gemini ai so i'm opening that and i will say add action state management then update page state what page state do i want to update text response the value to so this um, action output action output gemini text response and that is all we need for this workflow and if you want to show something like a snack bar or maybe a toast or whatsoever thing to show that this has gone successfully then yeah you can do that let's disable this um, conditional action for now and then start our test mode so that we can actually see what we have done with that um, text generation so it's requesting us to input our prompts so i don't know what to ask let me ask a uh, simple question as who are the founders of Flutterflow? oh let's keep the typo by the way and see how we can get it done i'll click on magic and after a while ivan zhao and Li Chan. i don't think that where is it there okay that's messed up and i'm going to do a quick google search because i don't believe this response and this is my brief search even with the errors we have abel and alex so these are actually the founders of waterflow i don't know what this gemini is thinking uh, let me correct the english so that you can see uh be mindful when you're using these models you can give false results i think this is the warning all of them are even saying uh when you're integrating that they are liable to give false results let me ask something simple how can i create a google cloud project so creating a google cloud project yeah 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 these are instructions i don't know if it's correct but you just have an idea let's 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 not digress you just have an idea how to use the text gen for this other action for this other action path like the image evaluation what i want is when a user enters an image url they should be able to check and see if the image is valid then if the image is valid the image should be shown down here anyways that's just a simple like uh, user functionality so i'm going to do this and i'll say when they click on check what i simply want to do is just up update this page state called image path because here we are showing this image here as the image path page state the url that we have here is the image path uh, page state so i'm going to click on check and when they input the url and click on check what do i want to do i want to update this page states and image path to be what they inputted so i'm going to say set value 
and what value they want to set i want to set it to be the widget state uh prompt to say enter image url right because that's the widget um this input field uh when they check now it's automatically going to be shown down here so there is something to note about the type of images i use um i think uh, google has a list of acceptable images like png whatsoever so just just have that at the back of your mind there's a page for it i saw it somewhere but i don't know exactly where it's going to but yeah just have that at the back of your mind just in case you happen to fall into any error so yeah we want that when we click on magic again our second action if tab bar current index is one then what do we want to do we need a gemini action again gemini text from image and uh, what am i going to say the text prompts i'm just going to ask it um uh, what can you say about this image so it's probably going to give a description of the image that will pass and uh, what image do we want to pass sorry what image do we want to pass to this um prompt we say let's say image from network url yeah and the url i want to use is um, this input field well you can either choose to use the app state because if the user click on checked but if they do not click on check you may want to use directly from the widget tree and um, sorry from the widget state so i'm just going to use directly from the widget state prompt to and uh, what do we want to say call this response gemini and the next thing we want to do is assign the response to an app state so state management uh page state variable we want to do image response which is a string and we want to set the value to be equal to the action output of our um, gemini image prompting whatever okay so and i think that this is all what we need for that and uh, let's refresh our application and see how this actually comes into into play so what i want to do is let's just look for an image online and i'm going to copy this image url check that's the image and then magic okay like what exactly is happening here this image shows a happy family they are all smiling and looking like they love each other very much the family is wearing casual clothes but yeah that's just how like the image generation um, action works so we have that thank you very much for watching this video if you found it useful and i have a lot of other contents on my channel be sure to check it out if at any point of your development process with flutter flow you have any complications any difficulties or you need mentorship or you have a project that you want to realize be sure to uh feel free to reach out to me and we can sort something out leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel because this is really motivating me and thank you for watching see you next time